Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Or should I say, where's all the fathers at? While these young boys is getting their snot box rocked in these streets. Where's all the uncles at? Why these young boys is getting their TVs turned off in the streets? Where's all the OGs at? Why these young boys is getting in out in these streets? Shall we begin? So many people. I took I took some days off, man. When I first seen this story, I had to lay down. It drained me. I need for y'all to understand something, right? When it's not just the story, right? Because you got dudes that come into our culture and they get famous off of breaking our stories off of our drill rappers. When it's not just the story and you come from these areas and you see these young boys that look you, look, they look just like you as a teen. It affects you, it drains you. When I first got this story, I had to lay down. I tried to prepare myself to do this story days and days and days, and I just couldn't get it done. So here we is. 14-year-old drill rapper from Yonkers, New York, named Nadi Osama. Nadi Osama. Osama. Stabbed to death. Ethan Reyes, a 14-year-old rapper from Yonkers, New York, was murdered by a 15-year-old assailant on a subway platform in Manhattan. The brutal stabbing occurred Saturday in a in, in a Hampton of the in the Hamilton Heights pop up is popping up neighborhood around 3 p.m. Reyes was an up and coming drill rapper who had been releasing music under the stage name Nadi Osama. His tragic passing comes just two weeks after he dropped a music video for a song called Without You. According to reports, the event leading up to the stabbing with a street fight between Reyes and an alleged stabber whose identity has been concealed because he's a minor. The two parties involved are said to have been rivals who had been beefing with one another for quite some time. Their brawl eventually spilled down into the subway station with Reyes allegedly pushing the other party involved down onto the tracks before he was stabbed. The young rapper reportedly tried to depart from the altercation after he got stabbed, but he ended up collapsing. Shortly thereafter, EMS took Reyes to the Mount Sinai St. Luke Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Now, I ain't got to read no more. First and foremost, right? You got a 14-year-old drill rapper, right? A 14-year-old drill rapper who's all over the internet because I'm not coming to sugarcoat nothing. I'm sick and tired of sugarcoating and I'm sick and tired of you mothers. Oh, it's my baby. My baby. We living in a day and a times, right? Of social media. Since this story. I had so many posts. This 14 year old boy. Was gang banging. At 14 years old. Where was his father at? Where was his uncles at? Where was the next door neighbors at. That grew up around this young boy. To put him on the right path. I don't get it. In the days of social media. See back in the days. When we used to be wilding out and my mother used to sit up there and say, boy, did you do that? What are you doing out in these streets? They didn't have a clue because we was able to say, mom, I don't know what they're talking about. It's a lie. It's somebody that looks just like me in the age of social media. You get to get on these devices. You get to get on these little devices and look at these young boys in the videos that they're posting. It's illmatic. At 14 years old. Somebody should have been taking off their belt and whipping Shorty's ass. He should have been getting the stuff that he's been posting on social media. See how they used to say back in the days, a soft 
A hard head makes a soft ass. These kids are out of line. And the rod of correction is not being used on these young boys. So you know what's happening? The streets is devouring them. And in this case right here, let's get to the story. So this 14-year-old boy, he pushed the 15-year-old boy onto the train tracks, right? The 15-year-old boy who could have got hit by a train, he could have touched the third rail and electrocuted himself to death, but he didn't. He climbs back on the path, back on the platform with a 14-year-old who just pushed him, who damn near took his life. Well, he stabbed him. It sounds like self-defense to me. Did you just say that, Hassan? Yes, I did. I did. I really did. I said that. This young boy is 14 years old. He's sitting up there, taunting the dead. He's making videos, dissing K-Flock, making videos, dissing the D thing. These young boys is gangsters. They're out of Shorty's league. Well, sure, I guess Shorty thought he was, he was, he was ready for the big leagues. Actually, he, 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 he how you ever watched that movie Apocalypto? Almost. I when he called them almost, he almost, he pushed them on the train track. He almost had them. And it was at that moment when he pushed that that fifteen year old boy on the track. Allegedly. That that 15 year old decided I'm fighting for my life. Before he decided to pull that knife out and put that knife work in. Shorty put the knife work in. After he got put, pushed, pushed, pushed on a train track. You know how scary it is to be on a train track and a train is coming your way. And then you have to actually jump up before that train gets you on that track. So it sounds like a case of self-defense self to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But you know what it definitely sound like? It sound like this 14-year-old boy. Parents. The adults in his life was on top of him. Let me say this to you parents out there. Some of us adults, grown men, 45 years old. I don't really like going outside much. Because it's safe to say it ain't safe outside. I've been to jail for multiple. Bust in mind. A lot of the dudes that's my age don't want to go back to jail. So they avoid these streets because they are afraid of doing something that will make them go back to the penitentiary. If the thugs... The OGs feel it ain't safe outside and we maneuver in these through these streets. How do you parents send you 14 and 15 year old kids outside knowing that they beefing with gangsters because they putting it on the internet and then you sending them outside and they not making it home? Then y'all go to the funeral and y'all have the crying contest to see who could cry over the 14 year old the most. Knowing that this dude was, you know, he was, he called himself Naughty Osama. Osama bin Laden, according to America, is a terrorist. So the 14 year old named himself after a terrorist, posted himself up on the internet, attacking other people through gang culture and music, and his lifestyle caught up to him. And see, my whole thing is, see, with social media, it gave the parents an opportunity to save that child. Y'all failed them. It gave the neighborhood an opportunity to save that child. Y'all failed them. Where is all the fathers at? Where was his father at? Where was his uncles at? Y'all didn't see him on social media? Where was the OGs in the neighborhood that was in charge of the set at? To correct him and tell Shorty to slow down. Where was they at? Where was the mayor at? Huh? Where was the mayor at? Where was Fabio Foreign? Where was Mano? Where was all of the Brooklyn rappers that stopped the mayor from coming down on drill music? 
Cause that's the new crack game now. Where was the mayor at? Where was where was Mano at? Because the mayor act like he was going to do something, and then y'all put in a roll call to slow him down, but now the streets are still in a frenzy. Right. The moral of the story is we failed that young boy. Well, not me, y'all did. Because I use my voice every day. And then when I sit up there and say, oh, Shorty got his TV turned off because I try to get around the algorithm and create my own language. Oh, no, you're being, no, Shorty got knife work. He got a hawk put in him. He got the knife work at 14 years old by a 15 year old. We failing miserably. And y'all ain't even got to like this video. Truth for the matter is, it, it hurts. When are we going to stop turning each other into burning candles? And liquor bottles? When are we going to stop turning each other into burning candles and liquor bottles? It is what it is. I'm out. Stay tuned. There's a lot to talk about.